Tonight we're hearing more about the man who was shot and killed on Richmond South Side and what we now know was a robbery spree. Police identified the South Side Latino Market employee as Marvin Ramos Hernandez. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan has the strong reaction from community members and city leaders after learning of the death. She's joining us now live in Richmond. Cheyenne, good evening. Eric Dan, I spoke with customers of the business that described Marvin as some as a friendly face that they'll miss seeing around. Two men wreaking havoc along Broad Rock Boulevard in broad daylight on Wednesday morning, and now we know they targeted not two but three different Latino businesses on the south side. Inside one, police found Marvin Ramos Hernandez shot and killed. Richmond Councilwoman Riva Tremel represents the district where the crimes unfolded. I was devastated when I heard the news because, you know, these people are good people. They're here making a living for their family. Officers were first called to a business at 2200 Broad Rock Boulevard for an armed robbery around 1020 a.m. And just minutes later, a robbery and shooting call came in less than a mile up the road in Lindo Amanecer Restaurant and Market. That's where Ramos Hernandez was killed. Tremel, along with others who spoke with 8 News off camera, described him as a kind person who had been working at the business for over 10 years. Always, you know, talking to people, you know, seating them, giving them, you know, menus, talking to them, bringing up the, the customers. And for something like this to happen, senseless, horrible. The suspects also attempted to rob a third business off Broad Rock, but were captured less than 45 minutes later. Officers tracked down the SUV that was involved using cameras in the area and license plate technology. They found the two male suspects inside the vehicle, 25-year-old Jonathan Beltran and 18-year-old Ronald T. Monteroso. Police say both had ongoing criminal cases against them before the crimes. One of the suspects uh, was arrested and charged by the Richmond Police Department in February of 2023 in that same area for a firearm and uh, narcotics related charges. Those charges are still pending, is, is my understanding. And then the other subject had active warrants out of Chesterfield County. Both men are now charged with robbery and use of a firearm while committing a felony, with additional charges still pending for the homicide. Police are asking if anyone knows anything to contact them directly. Live in Richmond, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.